aim is to define the overall look and feel of the app. You have options to choose color and font. Other building blocks. A window is for information and confirmation. You can use the window to display a splash screen or show an alert message nearby a button when clicked. Page is the backbone of Experience Builder. You can turn on the header and the footer of the page. The outline becomes handy when widgets are nested on the page. It helps you navigate the widgets and select the right one to modify. Screen group is a layout with multiple screens on a scrolling page, providing engaging and modern web experiences. Let's see the demonstration. For this next demonstration, we're going to use a scrolling application instead of a full screen one. Now, applications in Experience Builder can be both scrolling and full screen, depending on what templates you include on each page. Here, we're going to focus on a new feature in Experience Builder, screen groups, which is a powerful way to jumpstart your scrolling application and add some immediate configurations to it. Here, we'll select the flyer screen group that we're interested in and go ahead and configure the map to be connected to our web map and web scene of Glacier National Park. Now notice that the screen group has already gone ahead and pre-configured a map and scrolling bookmark tab that we can use to jumpstart our configurable application. Now we'll come into here and configure our first bookmark to take us on a tour around Glacier National Park. We'll start in 2D near the entrance to the park or we'll configure an initial bookmark around the APGAR entrance area near where the park headquarters is. We'll go ahead and save that, and we'll name that bookmark APGAR. We'll also give it a quick description just to help people understand what we're, what we're looking at. Then we'll go ahead and select an image in this case, we'll just use a custom image that we'll upload as our bookmark. Now for the same bookmark tab, we're going to go ahead and actually add a second bookmark. And we'll call this one Apgar 3D because we're going to zoom in around the park entrance and pan into our 3D scene and take a look down Lake McDonald to view some of the great mountains we have in the background of our entrance area. Go ahead and save that, and we'll name it Appbar 3D. Now that we've configured this first set of bookmarks, we'll go ahead and scroll down to one more and configure the bookmark right here to give us one additional 3D view. Here, we're going to go ahead and look back on the entrance of Lake McDonald, where we were just viewing from Apgar area and almost get a view from the mountaintop down the lake towards the entrance. And we'll just call this bookmark mountaintop. And we'll use a snapshot of our 3D scene. Now with our application configured, we'll go ahead and save and preview it and take a tour through Glacier National Park using our pre-configured screen group. We'll start at the entrance where we just saw our uploaded photo near Apgar. And within the same bookmark tab, we'll then transition into 3D to look down Lake McDonald. Then we'll move to our third and final bookmark that we've configured, which is this mountaintop view, again with that same custom image. This is a screenshot of the view that we have. Mm -hmm.